An elderly St. Petersburg man died in his garage apartment and then his body decomposed for about a month. But that's not the worst of it. Tonight, police accuse a neighbor of going inside and taking his belongings over and over again. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard joins us now live from the Pinellas County Jail with the very latest on this story. Peter. Good evening, Josh. That neighbor, Jana Guzalak, is here facing burglary and other charges. Police tell me they caught wind of this when they heard that she had been talking to someone who, uh, talking about someone and, and referred to stealing from a dead man. Neighbors who lived near this small garage apartment noticed a strong, foul odor in the air. Many thought it could be an animal, perhaps a raccoon or a possum. We thought he ran under there and just died. Inside the apartment, police discovered the badly decomposing body of 79-year-old John Hapke. He'd been dead for about a month. Detectives believe a neighbor, Jana Guzalak, who lives steps away in this downstairs apartment, made repeat visits to Hapke's home to steal stuff. When we confronted her, she admitted to it, and she did break down and admitted to using the credit card and to taking cash from his pants. Detectives think Guzalak pawned the tools and electronics. They think she returned at least three times as Hapke's corpse lay nearby. I think that's about the lowest form of you could be on the planet. Neighbors are upset somebody would steal from a dead man. Now, that could be somebody's grandfather, you know, and uh, I don't think people they think too kindly of somebody going around doing something like that. Elizabeth Blankenship put out bleach when her landlord wouldn't take care of the smell. I felt bad. I feel like I should have, like, you know, pursued it more towards the landlord, like, get rid of this smell, get rid of this smell, yeah. and then maybe they would have found them. Now this mother of a seven-month-old baby is facing serious charges. I don't even know how you'd walk in the house, really, with that huge amount of smell and nonetheless go along with stealing his stuff. And tonight, police do not suspect any kind of foul play in Hapke's death. Uh, when police went to Guzalak's apartment, they say they found that she had overdosed on something. She ended up having to spend the night in a hospital. Tonight, she's spending the night in jail. Josh? Well, Peter, what do police believe that she did with that money on the credit cards? Uh, they believe they used it as her own personal bank account. She used the cash to spend on things that she wanted, and they say that she went uh, around with the credit card and bought groceries with them. Uh, and that's uh, over the past few weeks that they say that went on. All right, Peter Bernard, thank you very much for that live report from Pinellas County tonight.